Welcome back everyone to a brand new video and this is going to be my setup tour for 2020. Uh, I did one of these last year, I'll leave it in the link down below. I'm going to do one of these every year. Oh, sorry, my monitor went off. I'm going to do one of these every year at the start. Uh, I'm going to do it like probably the first week. But um, yeah, this is a little bit late, but it's not too late. Uh, and yeah, once again, the old one will be linked in the description as well as everything here. None of this stuff sponsored. I got this all by myself. Um, thanks to thanks to you guys. But uh, yeah, we'll go over everything. And my PC back there. I have a closet set up. That is why there's a door here. But uh, it works. And yeah, we'll go over everything. Uh, first up, we'll start off with these lights. Everybody has these. You already know what they are. But I'm going to make them white so that you can see everything more clearly. Um, I usually leave them on that color, but I'm going to turn them to white so it's easier to show you guys the setup. And yeah, let's go ahead and start with the keyboard, I guess. So this is the HyperX um, Alloy, I think. It'll be linked in the description. It has red switches right there, and I put these things on it. They make it like a little more quiet. I don't know what they're called. They're called like O-rings. And then here I have my mouse my mouse pad steel series mouse pad just a random one i got and then this is the g502 here i've had this over a year it's pretty nice and it still functions great so good durability as well it's very comfortable uh you got one two three four five extra keys and you can store profiles on the mouse with custom sensitivity and lighting so it's pretty nice once again none of this is sponsored i just like the product Next, we have my stream deck. Uh, I keep some games, uh, some random uh, stuff, some apps. And then here, uh, I, I can control my nano leaf panels. From here, I can see my processor state. Here, I can control my NVIDIA Shadow Play. Here is just a random folder. There's nothing in there. i got to work on that one. Here is my OBS Studio stuff and my Streamlabs OBS stuff. So from here, if I'm recording, I can record without having to go to the software. I can pull stuff up on my software. I can go through my intro, recording, and outro. And then here's my NVIDIA Shadow Play stuff. And I can turn off my monitor, stuff like that. And then for my live streaming, I can type stuff in the chat, like join my Discord, become a member, get some merch. By the way, link in the description. And I can also use my Shadow Play here. And then here I can change the different scenes while being live without having to go into the software. And I can pull up different stuff on the screen. About every streamer who's kind of decent has one of these because it's the best thing that you can do besides getting a numpad. Um, I'm going to be probably make a tutorial on how to use a numpad as a stream deck. But uh, most people have a stream deck so they can switch between stuff on stream. And if that's too expensive for you, you can, make, you can use a number pad, which I'll make a tutorial on how to do that another time. So stay tuned. Uh, here we have my monitor. I just got this. I don't have any idea what it's called, but it's from AOC. 144 hertz curved. I got it on sale on Black Friday for like 100 bucks. Usually 144 hertz monitors are at least 200, but I got mine on sale for a really good price. And uh, yeah, I got that about three months ago. Honestly, I know everyone says this, but there's a big difference between 144 and 60 hertz. I, you don't really realize it. I didn't realize it, but there's a big difference between 60 and 144. Uh, I can tell you that now. You won't want to go back. But if you're at 60 hertz and... You want to try 144 hertz then go for it it's pretty nice uh next we have my mic this is the hyperx quadcaster random mic uh here we have my boom arm this is a ten dollar boom arm i got off of ebay i got a new one because my old one which i've had for like three years was like pretty weak i bought the same boom arm again it last it lasted me three years without like becoming flimsy so it was strong for three years and i got a new one they're only 10 bucks i'll leave a link in the description as well uh on my entire shelf here where I have my setup, I have this uh, black vinyl, which just makes it super nice. This was like $10 or something. And I put it across the entire thing. We'll go over the PC in a sec. We're just to the left. I got these two random coasters here to put my drinks and stuff. And uh, yeah, terrible cable management back here. I would hook up all these cables behind the monitor. But uh, there's a hole in the wall back there because I had a power strip back there. And I took the power strip off, and the tape was too strong, and it ripped the part of the wall out, and yeah. So I can't put the cables back there, but I'm going to fix that soon. I'm just really lazy, and that's why that's like that. 
If not, I have good cable management. Here is my webcam. If it focuses. That is the Logitech C920. And it's hooked up to this thing, which is like a webcam arm. I know you can't see that very well. I apologize. Oh, there we go. It's hooked up to this little webcam arm uh, that's on this little part of the shelf. And then it goes like this. And then bam. And then you got this cover random cover so i can turn it on and off when i'm streaming if i want the face cam to go away and then back there i got my cable and then back there i have my power strip once again everything will be linked in the description and then here's my mouse spongy uh, i'd recommend getting a mouse spongy if you have a wired mouse because they make it feel like a wireless mouse honestly they really do and then there's some stuff i have holding up my cord for my power strip um Here's a random light I have. I never use this really anymore now that I have my nano leaf. I don't know even know why I have it. And then here I have this. It pretty much works as a second monitor. <laughs> so I can put my iPad on there. Um, it's attached to that. I could put my iPad on there and it kind of works like a second monitor, kind of. And yeah, it's pretty nice so I can reach out if I put it that way and then do that. Um, here's my headphones, HyperX, um, HyperX Cloud Alphas. No, yeah. That's, that's the HyperX Cloud Alphas. I'm pretty sure. It'll be linked in the description. Then you have some random headphones, wireless headphones I've had for like six years. I just use those to travel. I don't use them for anything else. And I just leave them up there. Uh, and then this thing is like a headphone holder. It was by Elevation Lab. I don't know if you can read that. If it'll focus. I'll leave it in the description though. I don't know. Just some random headphone holder. That goes up there, and I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh, there I have my fan. Hold on. There's my fan down there, and then if we turn around, I got my green screen, my jacket, random stuff. And then here's my terrible chair. I got to get a new chair. It sucks. All right. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's it. Let's move to the PC. Uh, yeah, it's back here. You could like show it like this. It's right to the left. Oh, I got a cable holder right here. Just to tidy up the cables. Makes it way nicer. And then this PC I recently got, uh, I think like a month or two ago. It has a 2060, an i7-9700. Uh, it has 16 gigs of RAM. And it, I'm pretty sure that's mainly at one terabyte hard drive, 256 SSD. I don't think I missed anything. Once again, it'll be linked in the description. Uh, I got a little uh, fingerprint sensor here. I don't really use it. I just have it there because I bought it and I don't really use it, but I just keep it there because I have an extra USB port. It's so dusty in this closet. I don't know why. And then back here, I have cables. I know you can't even see that. Probably won't focus. Doesn't matter. Yeah, you can't see that, but it doesn't matter. If you don't see it, doesn't matter mess back there but you can't see it so i'm not gonna fix it and yeah that's pretty much it guys hopefully you enjoyed the setup tour i don't think i missed anything hopefully um and yeah thanks for watching i have this random pen i got i'll leave it in the description as well it's pretty cool and it's like a bottle cap opener ruler it's nice it's just cool and then pretty sure that's it thanks for watching the video guys hopefully you did enjoy and uh yeah oh this thing I is pretty much falling, so the way I had it held up was with this little random Rubik's Cube holder I found. I put it under here, and it stops it from falling, which is pretty nice. If not, this would be falling, because I can't hook it up because of the hole. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the setup tour. I also have an Ethernet cable as well, if you were wondering. Obviously, you must have an Ethernet cable. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to show that because it's boring. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll make one of these next year, or maybe... Maybe I'll do one twice a year if you guys are interested. Thanks for watching.